Hello everyone, welcome back to At Home Cooking. So we're really just gonna jump right into this one because it is so easy. It's like a three ingredient codfish recipe. So not gonna waste any time. Here we go. We got two pieces of cod fillets. I'm going to grab that, my breadcrumbs, and I'm also going to grab, I think this is about a full stick of butter. If I can recall, I don't think I wrote this down. It was on a whim kind of thing. Like we had caught and I just wanted to make it. So it's about a stick of butter that I melted down and I put onto a plate. And let me tell you something, I don't work with cod often, but these things are kind of thick. So I was really like shocked by that. But what I'm gonna do is place the cod in the butter, let it get nice and fully coated on one side. Then I'm going to flip it over and do that to the other side. Once I dunked it in to the butter, I put it into the breadcrumbs on one side only. And then I worked on my second piece of fish, coating one side, coating the other side, with the butter and then putting it into the breadcrumbs and only coating one side. Before I put it into my preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, this recipe shocked me too. There is not a lot to it. I did not add salt. I did not add pepper. The breadcrumbs I relied on solely to season my fish. Also, the butter is salted. So I did not wanna go in with any salt and any pepper because I didn't want to over season the fish. I also took extra breadcrumbs and patted it along the top. I love breadcrumbs and I love the texture that breadcrumbs give. So I just made sure I put an extra little layer of breadcrumbs on top and patted it into the cod. Also, I think it helps with the next step you're about to see. which is pouring the rest of the butter on top of the breadcrumbs. So it gets those breadcrumbs nice and salty. They're already seasoned, but it gives it like an extra little buttery, creamy taste, you know, but it also helps it crisp up when it's in the oven. So, so now we have our cod nicely covered in our butter. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so this was ridiculously easy. So I added some green beans and some homemade mashed potatoes on the side, but let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that we're about to eat, that it be nourishing and keep us strong. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Come on, y'all, extremely easy. I did the mashed potatoes and the green beans off camera, which I'm trying right now and was actually really delicious. But this fish comes together so, 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 so fast. If you have caught on hand or if you're in a bind as far as what to do for dinner, this is so easy and still so delicious. So please give it a try if you haven't. As always, we can't thank you enough for stopping by and joining our family today. Please make sure you subscribe and enable that notification bell as well to be notified of our next video. Also, please take a moment to comment down below some of the other recipes you would love to see featured on this channel. If you are still here and you are looking for something else to get your mouth watering, please make sure you click on one of our other videos on the screen.